Hello, everyone, and welcome back to New View. I'm here checking in on your energy, okay, seeing what's going on around you. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? 1044 on the clock, as I say this, a divine number. Um, I feel like a cycle is coming to an end, a new one is beginning. You're getting a whole, like a burst of energy, okay? This fire lit inside of you. I'm feeling divine feminine energy here, and I'm feeling a masculine that's feeling the, the full impact of this beautiful energy that you're in, okay? And it's putting this masculine in a very dark space, okay? Um, anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I love you guys. Thank you to all of my awesome subscribers. You guys, thank you for joining the Soul Tribe. Welcome to my Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines. This is definitely a Twin Flame Soulmate reading, okay? Um, yeah, and I feel like you're picking up on each other's energy. This masculine it says commitment on the card, but I feel like that's that soul tie. I feel like that's the contract, okay? Twin flame, twin flame soulmates are under like a twin flame contract. And so this is just a really, a very strong connection. And you, you may be able to feel your person's energy, but if you are, you're ignoring that, okay? You're ignoring that. You want this fire of passion inside of you um, when it comes to starting something new. Okay, I feel like Divine Feminines, you're moving on and you're getting, you're, you're calling your energy back to you. You are. You realize that this masculine has been watching you, pulling on your energy, trying to telepathically communicate. You realize that they're obsessing about you behind the scenes and you want your energy back. You could have done some kind of like ceremony or something to call your energy back to you, or you could have just prayed, you know, please, God, please bring my energy back, right? And I feel like your energy is being replenished, and there, there's something that's lit inside of you, Divine Feminine, that's telling you you just have to move forward, okay, that it's time for you to start something new, that dang it, it's time for you to get happiness Okay, it's time for you to get fairness and treated the right way. Like this is a fire of like a, a big ball of passion inside of you for you, for you and your life. Okay, and that's like a, a complete disconnect. Like you're totally reaching out and grabbing your energy and yanking it back to you and saying this energy is mine. And I'm going to use this energy for myself in the future. You don't get any more of my energy. That's energetically, that's what you're telling this masculine. They feel that. Oh, they feel that in their bones collective. Okay, they do. I'm telling you, when, when, it, when I say it's putting them in a dark place, I mean, this is a lot of confusion, a lot of sadness, sorrow, um, regret depression okay and you you're being energized okay and i feel like it says winter sowing the seeds you planted maybe last winter last winter you could have started some kind of project or um, maybe you started a business and you were working really hard on growing that maybe you were just working on your healing okay but now the seeds that you've planted seasons ago now I feel like are becoming fruitful and abundant and growing okay around you so you're about to get a lot of abundance here because you're taking action for yourself because you're caught you're pulling your energy back you're yanking your energy back to you away from this person who was pulling on your energy okay boy do they feel that Yep, boy, do they feel that. All right, so what else can you show me here? I'm seeing all this dark energy here coming off of your person. This is also ancestral energy. Yep, yeah, and you're, you are, it says the encounter. You're about to um, have a, a really intense dream or 
maybe a vision or communication, very clear communication with your ancestors or somebody who is passed on, a passed on loved one, giving you strength, giving you courage. Look at, um, you may even feel like you're being touched here because there's another ancestor here who's blowing on your, on your hair. Um, there's an ancestor here. Okay, watching down kind of, um, they, there's people, spirits in your home that may be like moving around objects in your home. Like, like you'll set your rings down in a spot and then um, the next morning they'll be moved, right? Close to your phone or something like that, okay? That's a message. They're trying to communicate with you. That's just what they showed me intuitively. And I feel like right now you're very intuitively lit. You're asking for the support and the strength of your ancestors and your spirit guides. And you're asking the divine to help bring your strength and your creativity back or whatever, whatever you feel like you've, um, like you've lost or you've been drained, right, from this connection. Because this masculine over here, they don't stop pulling on your energy. They don't. I feel like they've been pulling on your energy this whole time, Divine Feminine. And I feel like you're like, you know what? I'm done with this. I need my energy for myself, right? And my life. You could be a Divine Masculine. Just reverse the roles if you have to, okay? This is for my Divine Beings. If you were led to this video, there's definitely something in it for you, or that could be a, this could be a confirmation that you are in fact a light worker. So you could be masculine or feminine, just reverse the roles if you have to, okay, you guys? Yep, and you're gonna wake up the next day absolutely refreshed. Look, you pray, look at look at the beams of light coming into your into your crown chakra. Do you see this? That's you being replenished of your energy because you prayed, you prayed to pull your energy back to you. Okay, this is a lot of intense dreams as well. Like you got a lot going on in your head. <laughs> I, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, maybe you wake up and you feel like you didn't really sleep, but yet you feel refreshed at the same time. Like um, if your your mind is so busy at night. Uh, your dreams are very intense. Maybe you're dreaming in color as well. But you're definitely having very clear communication and encounters. You're having encounters with your ancestors. Okay, this is ancestral energy. All right. I feel, too, that they may be giving you some of their abilities. Okay. Okay. Because they're giving you something here. See how the um, their third eye is coming down right into your crown. It almost feels, it. it's not quite your crown chakra. It looks like the back of your head. Um, yeah, I'm also feeling like you've got um, a spirit animal around you as well. I'm telling you, you're, so you're getting some kind of transfer of energy from your ancestors, okay? Your ancestors are transferring to you some of their abilities, some of their energy, some of their power. And I'm t when you wake up in the morning, you're going to wake up feeling way different, okay? It's, um, that happened to me this morning. I was like, wow, I feel good today, you know? Um, and I woke up at like 4.30 this morning or 5. I was almost 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, what did I say on the bottom of the deck? Ancestral well, warmth. That was on the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you. Perception, right? Perception. So the, um, your ancestors are literally, they're all around you. You're going to feel their presence. Okay, whether this has already happened or it's about to, you're about to have a very intense spiritual encounter with your ancestors, okay? 
a very intense spiritual um, encounter. It's just in, an encounter. Like you, you are going to have clear communication. You're going to know that they're giving you some of their energy, their abilities. You're going to wake up feeling so different and refreshed. Um, yeah. Wow, that's powerful. Wow. I just keep seeing these beams coming at you. Okay, if you look, there's a beam here, there's a beam here, there's a beam here, there's even a beam here pointing down right at you. Okay. Yep, and a clear encounter. So this is like actually having a conversation with them, maybe even seeing um, an apparition of them. Okay. Um, definitely it's going to be just a confirmation. You're going to get a clear confirmation that you're communicating with your ancestors. And what else can you show me? Yeah. And meanwhile, your person is broken hearted, empty handed. I kind of get the sense that this is someone who's being stripped of their abilities. Okay. This is that dark energy of your person now. Once you make this, it feels like a transition. Once you make this transition and you call your energy back, you yank it back to you, um, you wake up feeling completely different. That is your person also wakes up feeling different that day. Okay, they're going to feel like they got nobody. They're going to feel like their prayers are not being answered. They're going to feel in total darkness and confusion. This is what's going on in their head. Okay. Total darkness and confusion. Empty handed. Like where are my abilities? Where are my blessings? They're going to, they're going to feel that, um, that they're being stripped of everything. Okay. So this is now, this masculine, I feel like they're going to be, falling from grace. Or like I said, um, if you're a masculine watching, you can maybe flip the, you know, reverse the roles if you guys have to, right? But that's just what I'm picking up on. I feel like the any bit of magic that they would have felt before, they may have not even noticed. And now all of a sudden in its absence, they notice that. Okay. They notice something has changed very suddenly. Um, and uh, yeah, it's because of your change in your energy. Okay. They're being stripped of everything, you guys. Yep, and you, you're going to be... You're going to be birthing something new. Okay, so this is your creativity coming back. Look at all of these circles around you. That to me is just like you're going to be uh, you're going to be getting one creative idea after the next. Okay? Boom, 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 like little bubbles, okay? One creative idea after the next. So your creativity is coming back, your energy is coming back. The fire within you is back. This is like how you got your groove back, okay? You're getting your groove back. Whether you're divine feminine or divine masculine. I feel like this is for the divine feminines, but reverse the roles if you have to. <laughs> okay? Yeah. And you're just going to feel you're going to feel more whole than you've ever had than you ever have before, okay? And you're going to know you're not alone because you're going to have this clear communication and visions and dreams. You're going to know that um, passed on loved ones are around you, ancestors are around you, giving you that strength. Yeah, watching down, watching down on everything that happens. This just feels like judgment. They've seen everything, everything that you've been through in the past. And I feel like they're telling you that those days are over, okay? And with this, with this um, energy, your energy being replenished and refreshed, 
it's now time for you to start that new cycle okay start that new cycle you may even wake up like noticing that you're like you're looking really good that morning okay feeling good looking good I feel like you're just this is like regeneration energy okay and you're it says witness of beauty so I feel like um, they're they've witnessed everything that you've been through I'm seeing this as a crown here on top of your head so you're you've been crowned um, and now you're you're getting all of this energy back okay I love it and this masculine they are going to be um, one they're getting their karma two they're gonna be um, not feeling right at all uh, because something they're gonna you know it's one of those feelings like what just happened I know something just happened around me but I don't know what it is for sure yeah that's kind of the energy that they're gonna be in and it's very dark energy very negative energy you're in all this beautiful positive energy being celebrated on the 5d um, getting the assistance of your ancestors and spirit guides I love this what else can you show me yeah because you're the holy grail couple love look at this and more beams of light you guys completely different deck completely different deck more beams of light okay so your ancestors you know what's in this cup is more than just love all right it's love it's your faith it's your um it's, it's your psychic abilities it's your, your skills, it's your spiritual knowledge, okay? It's everything you believe in at a soul level. And I feel like um, your ancestors are giving you more spiritual abilities. They're giving you more psychic abilities. They're giving you uh, heightened senses, okay? Yeah, they're giving it to you. Thank you. There's, here's this cup. This is your ancestors giving you all of that. And here it is in your hand. I kid you not. You could possibly be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What else can you show me? Yeah, see, this masculine wants to come back in, but they're coming in too slowly. I feel like they're going to be held back, okay? I feel like they really can't come back in now. They've tried to avoid this. It's taken them too long. Yeah, see, and you're in the world card here, being put on a pedestal by the divine. I'm also, I'm hearing the word protected. So around you um, is this circle of wheat, right? I feel like that's your protection. Spirit could also be, this is definitely being, um, raised to a new level okay celebrated on a pedestal uh you could be starting something or you could have started something recently like um a new project or craft that you have on maybe on the internet that's going to be booming you're just headed for success you're headed straight for success okay whoever i'm talking to divine feminine Divine Masculine, whoever I'm talking to. I feel like it's Divine Feminine Energy. And you've graduated from this last cycle. You learned all your lessons. You have passed all your tests. You've passed through judgment. You're, you're being protected. Um, and you're starting a new cycle, like right now. Right now. And this person from your past, they just, they're coming in way too slow. They, all they can do is watch. The universe will not let this person back in. Two of Swords and Justice. Okay? To me, Justice is a universe card, and the Two of Swords is the universe has already made their decision. They're blocking this person from coming forward. All they can do is watch you succeed. Okay? They have to kind of suffer now. This person is, I feel like they're being deemed no longer a divine being. Okay? 
they're having their title stripped, their blessings stripped, and their um, abilities stripped. Okay? And they're blocked from coming forward. They can't. All they can do is watch you succeed. Wow. All right, what else can you show me for my beautiful collective? Yeah, but here's your ancestors gifting you. They're gifting you with heightened abilities and senses. Okay? They're, they're giving you your energy back. And I feel like they're, they're going to be answering whatever questions you have left, right? I feel like Spirit has been showing you information about what happened to you and why it happened in little increments during this journey okay if you have any questions left over i feel like spirit is going to tell you or show you in these vivid dreams or in visions okay i feel like also you could just be asking the divine what's next right what's next for me and Spirit is, is telling you, you know there's better things coming for you in the future. Okay? Because you put in that effort. You know you're about to be blessed. All right? Spirit is just telling you to stay on your path. Keep allowing the divine to lead you and guide you. Okay? A huge change is coming in your life. And I feel like um, that's going to be love, abundance, success possibly stardom okay so your life is about to change in a very crazy way yeah happiness and this person from your past all they can do is watch okay they cannot come back in spirit has made the decision here okay you're being replenished of anything that you've lost in this journey um mostly your energy and that passion inside of you, okay, that drive, right? Yep, you're about to be very happy in the future, okay? Anyway, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. Claim this manifestation as your own because this is really tremendously powerful, especially um, this clear communication with your ancestors, all right. Anyway, um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.